Hi and welcome to Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung. We talk about tech, we talk about games, and we talk about anything in between. So if you're interested in Samsung, if you're interested in tech, don't forget to subscribe. Um, today is Thursday and um, Thursday is where we do thoughts and Tuesday is usually where I do a bit of a tantrum but today I'm probably going to do a bit of a thought come tantrum come bit of a spaz. Um, I probably shouldn't use that should I but <laughs> but uh, we've just recently had E3. E3 was last week uh, the big announcements were the weekend before with um, uh, uh, Microsoft, Xbox, Sony and Nintendo and all the big sort of games coming out. And here's the kicker. Here's here's the thing that all the fanboys for Xbox, um, the X-Bones and, the, and the, the PlayStation ponies, all the in between, which I'm being called. Some people have called me, obviously they're, they're Xbox fanboys that are having a bitch at me about being a, a PlayStation pony or, you know, fanboy. I'm not, I'm neither. I've had Xbox and Sony uh, consoles for years, ever since they came out. The only, you know, I've missed a couple in between, but I just go where the games are. If Sony's got all the games, I'll play that most. If Xbox has got all the games, I'll play that. It, I've, I've got no real loyalty between the two. If one screws up and, 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 and I believe, you know, didn't do something so well, I'm going to call them out about it. You know, I wasn't too impressed with the PS Pro upgrade, but, you know, it was all right. I just didn't expect too much. With the Xbox One X, you were made to expect an awful lot more. Fanboys and girls sort of bitching between one another and going on, you know, my specs are better than your specs, and it's like, no, forget it, it's, it is just about the games, okay? If yours has got great games, great, that's great for you. If yours, the other one has great games and it's not on the other one, great for them. Just get on with the bloody games. Forget about your console war bullshit. No one gives a damn, okay? No one, no one cares. It's just tiring. No one wants to hear. And here's the thing, right? This, you know, we tend to sort of think that fanboys and fangirls, ponies and X-bones and whatever you want to call them, we like to think that they're sort of kids. They're teenagers, maybe in their early 20s. They can be forgiven, perhaps. But here's the thing. A couple of years ago, two, three years ago, I think it was when it was, it was when the Xbox One and the PS... PlayStation 4 was announced, that, that E3 and all that period. And I was on IGN and um, the there was this guy and I was sort of saying that I was really disappointed about, once again, about the Xbox One uh, as to how they sort of pushed it. You know, it just seemed at odds with gaming. It's like, well, this is a gaming convention guys you know it's about games uh where's where's the games console you're just going on about it being so many other things and no games and there was this guy who was giving me grief about being a pony being this it's like, i was just saying you know this just xbox bikes i've dropped the ball and uh he was giving me so much grief and he mentioned something that kind of gave his age away it was like a reference to something from the 70s and I was like, what the hell? And I looked at his profile and this guy was 44. Now I'm 48. Um, he was probably much near, you know, I was probably 46, 45 at the time. So he was maybe a year younger than I. But to act in such a juvenile way, you know, he was calling me names. He was trying to call me a pony, you know, and, and use sort of this more sort of juvenile language. And it was like, wow. How many of the people that we're seeing are sort of these uh, these uh, fanboys and fangirls and, and giving all this abuse, how many of them are sort of adults that really should know better? And I got talking to him and I, and I sort of called him out a little bit and said, Look, dude, you know, it's, calm down. It's a console. You're 44, for heaven's sake. Don't. There's more important things to get your knickers in a twist about. Um... You know, so it, it's really odd and it makes me wonder how many of these fanboys and fangirls are actually sort of middle-aged old farts that have nothing better to do that are ranting online. Hmm. Whereas I'm just ranting to a camera. Yeah. I mean, isn't it ironic? Don't you 
what you think. Okay. Um, so anyway, that's that's my uh, that's my gripe. Um, E3 tends to bring out, you know, hopefully usually the best in tech and best in gaming. And we kind of didn't see that. And unfortunately, what it also brings out is the worst in gamers. Um, but let me know your comments, your thoughts. No doubt I'm going to get some hate. I've had some hate from me complaining about the Xbox announcement, the Xbox One X announcement. You know, Jesus Christ, it's just crazy. So, you know, haters, just do your stuff. You know, your, your ponies and your x bones and whatever, you just say whatever you want. Um, but at least have an argument. Um, and everyone else, you know, let me know your thoughts. What What is it that annoys you about gamers? What is it that annoys you about, you know, these fanboys and fangirls? And, you know, what's the oldest sort of fanboy and fangirl that you've discovered that you've called out? Because um, my record so far, the, the, the achievement we've got so far is 44, which is crazy. Okay, guys, thanks again. There's more videos. I'm doing reviews and stuff, so look out for them. It's been a busy week. Um, I'm trying to cram in a whole bunch of videos, so look out for those, and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and watch other videos, and um, have a great week. Lovely. Bye. Eee.